Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. This is a um, one of my other custom Technobots. This is Lightspeed. Um, I, I finished him not too long ago. Um, touch ups on the paint and everything. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to the paint. and uh, The white has been giving me a hard time. Um, I clear coated it and it stole chips. What a PIA. Anyway, um, he came out very good on the other hand, you know. Um, this was, believe it or not, the easiest one I did. Um, he looks really good. Um, I'm very happy with the way he turned out. I had multiple options for doing um, light speed, different vehicles to pick from, but I just thought a futuristic, badass looking car fit the bill. I think this, this car is just fantastic. I just love the way it looks. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful work. And uh, as you can see from the front here, it's just I like the nose and the just the overall look of the car, the wheels and everything. It's just fantastic. Here in the back there, and you can see I put uh, uh, lights on the back. You know, give it a little more realistic look. You know, pretty cool. You know. Um, just an overall awesome looking figure, uh, especially in the car mode, um, which he's been in mostly since I finished him a while back, and, um, a little while ago, and uh, he's a little stiff, and I'm not used to transforming him, so just bear with me if I make a few mistakes, you know, I'm trying to be careful as this is a custom, and I don't want the paint to chip anymore, the white seems to chip very easily, even though it's clear coated, it still chips. Um, you just can't win. <laughs> okay, let's transform this guy. Um, first thing is I want to raise the camera up because he is taller. So, than afterburner. So just bear with me. Uh, okay, here we are. Okay, uh, afterburner. Uh, afterburner uh, needs a big guy to look after him. So uh, I finished him in priority as I got other ones. Uh, Scatter shot, nose cone, and strafe are in the works right now. So, but after burner needs somebody to look after him. So, this is the guy. So, okay, let's start with uh, let's start with the legs first. Um, pop the legs, they're stiff, mind you. A little stiff there. Yep, there. You go. This one always seems to be a lot stiffer than this one. I don't understand why. Um, pull out the, the heel spurs. Okay, got him on his feet here. Move the camera a little bit. Back a little bit, actually. Um, let's see. Like I said, I, I haven't transformed this guy in, in a while, so I'm a little, probably a little lost on it. So, put the side pieces in, the side panels, like this. And then. Uh, with the arms, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay. And I think you flip up the back like this. Tilt this forward. Flip this up like so. Yep. If I remember correctly. Yep. That's like just like that. Oops. Right down on his head. <laughs> flip this back. Okay. Then what you got to do is you got to make these go upwards. Like this. Gotta make these go upwards like so. That's so what's up here, right there. Same thing with the other side. Just trying to be gentle here. I don't want to break the figure, you know. Okay, now, now fold these out like that, and this one like that. Put the, pull down the arms like this. Same thing with the other arm. There's his head. There's his, there's, there's his head. There it is. Just trying to get him to sit good because for some reason he just wants to tilt back a little bit, but we'll fix that. So there we are. Ah, that's much better. There he is. And here is uh, my uh, light speed. 
I think it came out fairly well. The head's a little loose. I used a custom head. Uh, if this is correct, this should be correct. Yeah, this is on right. Hmm. I wonder why he seems to tilt back so much. Hmm. I don't know. That's not a biggie. He seems all right. Uh, that's better. Maybe it's just the camera. But uh, there he is. Um, this is uh, light speed. I used the head off of uh, High Tower from uh, the RID guys there, the crane, and because uh, I think they're the world's biggest piece of crap. So I decided to junk some parts to make this guy. I think he came out very well. I think he looks really good. Very, I'm very happy with the way he came out. I'll give him a few turns so you can see the sides of the back. I think I transformed him right. Just, uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. And also, um, I'll open this real quick. This is supposed to be a use a Cybertron key, but I don't. I just unclick. And they just pop open like this. And I painted these nice inside silvery, you know, like stuff. Turbines. So you never know. Light speed. Uh could probably fly you never know as fast as he goes he's faster than a than a photon at least that's what he says just closing back up there you go um also one of the other things i made for him is i've been on a weapon making kick as of late with these guys and i made this i made him a custom gun with a side scope not quite like uh afterburners but cool nonetheless but uh, I've been on a kick with these as of late but I figured he doesn't need a giant gun because uh, he's a bigger guy so this is what I get made for him Let's see how it looks here because his hands are very narrow I had to make the the, the handle narrow on the gun as well and uh, but it looks pretty good I think I'll leave that up to you all to, to judge but uh, I think it came out very nice um, since he doesn't have all the goodies like uh, Afterburner did um, you know I this review will be a tad shorter but uh, I think he looks really good uh, he doesn't have the mobility or the articulation that I was hoping for but uh, I suppose I'll survive with him uh, being out is like he is and actually I really like the way he came out, so I don't think I'll even try or even consider adding another, uh, making another custom uh, Technobot. These are how they are, and this is how they will be. So, um, but uh, guess who decided to show up to the party? Here he is. Here he is. Put him in. Put him in there now. now that's now that's kick ass right there. My first two Technobots. They look pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. And um, I would like to know, um, uh, Afterburner, get your gun out of the face, out of the people's faces, will you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I think they came out very well, and so far. And these are my first two Technobots, and I am proud to present to you Afterburner and Lightspeed. I think they look really good, and I've been on a weapon making kick, so I'm bound to make a lot more guns for these guys. Um, I have a whole bunch of weapons I'm going to be making for their bot modes, their uh, vehicle modes, and Compatron modes, and everything. I'm just on a weapon making kick, and I just think uh, I've got so many fantastic ideas over the last few days. It's so ridiculous and ain't funny. So, anyway, uh, thank you uh, for putting up with my senseless ramblings and I uh, really hope you liked the review and I hope to have more for you soon. Take care everybody. Later.